The plague has been present somewhere in Europe every year between 1346 and 1671. Just to let you know how deadly it was, a person could be feeling completely fine one day and the next morning he could be dead. So you get the point, it was really, really bad. Like kill between 75 million and 200 million people in Eurasia bad. In fact, one reason it killed so many people was because it was spreading so effectively and people didn't know what caused it. Some people believed it was God, others believed it was just some sort of bad air. But all this time, nobody suspected the real cause of the Black Death. The Alligators. No, I'm just kidding, it was actually the Black Rat. Well, I am kind of half joking because in reality it was the fleas on the rodents which caused the plague. Alright, let's end this bad joke. It was actually the bacteria called Yersinia pestis, which lived inside the flea, which lived on the black rats, which lived near the humans. The fleas jumped on humans and then bit them, infecting them with the plague and then jumping back on the rats. Now, you might ask yourself, so why were the rats so widely spread in the medieval cities? Like, if there were no rats, there wouldn't have been a plague, which means 75 to 200 million people wouldn't have died, so Europe might have become overpopulated, and famines would have probably happened more often than they already did. The answer to this is because people didn't really care about the cleanliness of the cities. Anything they found dirty, they would just dump it in the street. This made a perfect breeding ground for rats and other rodents. To find a rat in your home today is, hopefully, something very unusual, unless, of course, you have them as pets. But hundreds of years ago, it was completely normal. Cities were the perfect habitat for these rodents. And if there is anything that you learned from this video so far, let it be that where there's rats, there's also the plague. At the beginning of the 17th century, a new wave of the plague hit Europe again. In France, it killed approximately 1 million people, but it mysteriously didn't affect Paris, which was the capital of France at the time. The residents of the city were mostly unaffected, despite it having the same rat problem as any other big town in Europe. So, somehow, the people of Paris managed to stay away from the plague. Maybe they respected some hygiene measures, so the city became cleaner and rodents left. Or maybe they all stayed home and quarantined until the wave of the Black Death passed. Or perhaps they poisoned the rats, resulting in the fleas dying as well. Because, you know, the fleas can't spread without the rats. It's something similar to the relationship between North Korea and China. However, if you thought any one of these options was correct, well, I don't blame you. All of them seemed to be valid options, except the rat poisoning, I made that up. Alright, now let's end the suspense. The real reason why Parisians were safe from the plague was because of lemons. Who doesn't like lemonade? Not only is it refreshing, but it's also pretty healthy. Unfortunately, these cool, delicious, succulent, bright golden things were not very popular during the beginning of medieval times. Lemons were distributed widely throughout the Arab world and the Mediterranean region between 1000 and 1150, but the first substantial cultivation began in Genoa during the 15th century. Before then, lemons were too expensive and the limited suitable farmland for lemon trees had held lemonade back. Yet one day, when one of the King of France's chief ministers visited the city of Rome, he saw lemonade stands everywhere. Everyone was drinking it, and after he took a sip from the refreshing fragrant juice, it left him wondering, why don't we have lemonade stands in Paris? With that being said, he brought his love for lemons to Paris, and boy did it ever become popular. And as I said earlier in the video, people used to throw anything onto the streets. So lemon peels were everywhere on the roads of Paris, and everyone was crazy about this new lemonade trend. Then the plague hit the country. Hundreds of thousands died in the cities of France, but Paris was relatively unaffected. Of course, bureaucrats and officials took credit for keeping the plague out of the city, but the real heroes were actually the lemons. You see, they contain something that is called limonene, mostly found in lemonade peels, which humans don't normally eat. You see where I'm going with this? While the large amount of lemon peels cluttering the streets might have bothered some people, the rats were quite happy about it. Now they wouldn't have to struggle to find food anymore. And who knows, they might have enjoyed this new flavored nutriment. As rats ate the peels, they consumed the limonene, which killed the fleas, or made them leave the rat's body. And since fleas can't live without the rodents, Yersinia pestis can't live without the fleas. The plague was wiped out from Paris. That's how lemonade saved tens of thousands of lives in Paris. And if you think this was just a coincidence and the Parisians might have just had pure luck, well, you could be right, but it's actually proven that limonene is a natural insecticide and insect repellent. After centuries of researching chemical insect repellents, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency still lists 15 insecticides in which limonene is the chief active ingredient, including both general bug sprays and products for pet fleas. With this being said, summer's here, so knock back as many lemonades as you like, but try to remember how lemonade might have saved Paris about 300 and something summers ago.